Every hour, every day, the residents of this homeless shelter stand in line, waiting for what they call the poor. A cup of homemade wine not enough to get them drunk, but a way to ease the dangerous craving they feel. While they wait, they get good food, company, and medical treatment. I bring services to them right in the shelter environment. And I'll do give IVs, oxygen, I'll treat their diabetes, their hypertension right here. It's called a managed alcohol program and it's controversial. Most experts say complete abstinence is the only way to treat alcoholism. But that rarely works for those whose drinking has cost them livelihoods, homes, even their families. Conventional efforts to help them manage their substance use have failed. And so we're trying to convince them to let us leap into their lives and be the ones that manage their alcohol, uh, their alcohol use. You were on the street? Yeah, I was in the street for around two, three weeks. Claude struggled with alcohol for years and only joined the program after everything had gone. Now he's got a plan to recover the life he abandoned for the bottle. Moving on in the future. Give myself an apartment, give myself straight, going back in reality. I love it. I like it. Once people have their drinking under some sort of control, they have the chance to come here to a suburban facility called the Oaks, where not only can they get regular and small amounts of wine if they need it, but they can also take classes and do other things to get their lives back on track. This is our production room. This is where they make the wine for the program, yeah. hundreds of liters a month. The two charities who run this encourage participants to gradually dilute their daily drinks with water and move towards sobriety. Only when they're ready though, and with the full support of their peers. It's their family. Uh, for many years, uh, a lot of the residents in the program were, were away from their family. Their family didn't know if they were alive, if they were dead. Didn't know if they'd ever see them again. So the fact that we can bring it all in, have a community, it's, uh, it's their second family. Alcoholism is a stubborn addiction, and this approach to treatment breaks all of the rules. But interest is growing across Canada as people see for themselves how it helps the poorest, most devastated victims have a glimmer of hope. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Ottawa.